This is evolution x 10.3 for the Realme GT2 and I'll put up the build date in the description below. I have been using this ROM for more than a week now and let me talk you through the good things first. It is set up like a pixel with very few Google apps. All the banking apps work without root. You also have Google Photos unlimited backup, the network and refresh rate tiles. I also like that all the customization resides in this very understated looking Evolvo section in settings and being an Evolution X ROM, there is plenty of customization on offer. I myself have changed uh, the fingerprint icon to look like Xiaomi phones and set a custom wave animation. You also have a peak display which mimics uh, Motorola phones. It's very handy to see the notification content even from the lock screen or the ambient display. Though this has to be turned on separately from the settings. Coming to battery life, uh, my active drain was around 11 to 13 percentage which is perfectly fine uh, and the maximum screen on time I've got is close to 4 hours uh, with 5G and hotspot occasionally but my battery health itself is degraded so you can expect more if you have a fresh battery. Coming to gaming performance, it is good, uh, you have a game mode with all the features and the gaming performance itself is pretty good with the phone being locked at 60fps even during combat. The ambient temperatures of where I am living is a little high so I cannot comment on the heating. Let's talk about the things that are not good but I am okay with uh, continuing with gaming. 90fps is not unlocked in BGMI by default but there is a game spoofing option and this is not a one click solution so I am not a fan of it. You also do not have a Dolby Atmos implementation but uh, there is no distortion at high volumes. So it's okay, uh, the maximum volume itself is a little low though. Coming to the bugs or glitches I faced, uh, first thing is the dreaded animation glitch which kind of ruins the whole flow of the UI. AI video does not work in the stock camera application. The screen of gestures also seems to be broken. I mean you can set it but it does not seem to do anything. So that has been the good okay and the bad i will also touch upon some things that were broken in the previous version but is fixed right now voice typing in gboard did not used to work previously but it's perfectly fine now the smooth display option which is essentially 120 hertz uh, previously also used to use 90 hertz a lot resulting in wild color shifts but in the current update it uses 90 hertz a lot less meaning very less color shifts. Uh, you can notice it uh, going through 90 hertz very occasionally but it's extremely rare and it's not a cause of concern anymore. So there you go, that has been it for Evolution X 10.3 for the Realme GT2. Overall I feel that is a very balanced ROM that is especially good for gaming as it showed very consistent peak performance. I hope the animation bug and the AI video gets fixed soon uh, which would make it a very pleasant experience. So if you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and see you guys in the next one.